I ate 47 hot dogs in 10 minutes. I broke the world record for donuts, so 59 and a half donuts in eight minutes. That's like six and a half kilos worth of donuts. I'm a professional eater. The number one ranked competitive eater in Australia. After about a year of doing competitive eating for a bit of a joke, it's now my full-time job. Two and a half years ago, me and my fiance went out for lunch and I did a burger challenge. Turned out I ate Australia's biggest burger. I didn't really know what competitive eating was or professional eating. After I ate that burger, it kind of blew up. The boy from Western Sydney ate Australia's biggest burger. It was all over the news. I was being contacted by all these media outlets asking me about, how did you do it? And I just said, I went for lunch and I ate this burger. And it turns out competitive eating is massive. A couple of competitive eaters reached out to me. They're like, dude, we want to meet you. It got to the point where I became best friends with these guys and we started making videos, social media content, obviously. And then during lockdown, when we couldn't go out, I started making TikToks and more social media content and it blew up like crazily. Like I'm talking like worldwide. I have all the records now for the contests here in Australia. I ate 100 pieces of sushi and two wasabi rice balls in three minutes, 24. I've competed in pizza contests, corn contests. The craziest one is I ate 47 hot dogs in 10 minutes. That's got to be the hardest one of them all. 38 pancakes in an hour, almost six and a half kilo pancake, 20 corn dogs in five minutes. Essentially, it's a sport. Like other sports, we train, but most importantly on contest day, there's prizes awarded, we compete for money, we get big crowds, it's quite tiring. So you've got to be quite fit. They're the best eaters in the world, they come from a sporting background. We're all into the gyms, love to train. Some guys do cycling, like bike riding, swimming, powerlifting, bodybuilding. But then come to the food, you've got to do capacity training to stretch your stomach. You've got to do technique training so you can eat whatever food is in the contest as fast as humanly possible. My training is I go to the buffet and I smash a buffet for a couple of hours. In terms of health, we get doctors checkups. You know, it's food, it's not drugs. I'm not hurting anyone. No one's saying it's healthy to put on a lot of fat. That's not healthy. But as long as you keep your fitness regime in check and you look out for what's important, regular blood tests, your insulins, your blood sugars, things like that. There's no reason there's not longevity in this game. Some of the best guys have been doing it 20 plus years. If someone tells you you can't do something, don't listen. I believe it's better to try yourself and fall over and then realize, okay, maybe I need some help or I need a different strategy. If you think you can do it, give it a go. Don't take yourself too seriously. People are gonna hate on you, bad things are gonna happen. If you love it, who cares what anyone else thinks? If it puts a smile on your face, if you're not hurting anybody, just go for it and give it everything. I am seen, are you?